So in this example, we're going to work with some of the uh, limit properties for limits of sequences that we saw in the previous video. Uh, we're given three sequences. We're told their limits. Okay. Um, some of these, I mean, we can work these out if we absolutely had to, but they're they're given to us, right? Um, here, you know, if we if we wrote all of these as functions of x, and we think about taking the limit as x goes to infinity, we know how to handle this. It's just a rational function. Degree is bigger on the bottom, so yes, the limit should be zero. Um, this one here, um, this is interesting, right? That is like base e from like the natural exponential function, right? That's Euler's number. Um, some people will actually take this as the definition of e, which is interesting, but you can show that the limit is equal to e using, um, using L'Hopital's rule, right? Um, techniques for indeterminate forms, because this is something of the form 1 to the infinity. That's one of the forms that we know how to handle. Um, finally here, um, this one's a little bit tricky. Um, if you try to take the limit, well, let's see, n's going to infinity, 5 over n's going to 0, so it's like infinity times 0. Um, oh, but if we, if we wrote this as sine 5 over n, you know, if we think of this as sine 5 over n divided by 1 over n, um, oh, now it's a 0 over 0 limit. And in fact, if we put a 5 here, and a 5 here. Well, now this is like a sine theta over theta limit, right? We know that limit as, you know, if n goes to infinity, 5 over n goes to 0. So we know that this, this limit here is, is 1. So 5 times 1, so that makes sense. OK, so we have these limits. Now we want to calculate these results over here. And the point is, once we know the value of the limits, we don't need to get into the details. We just need to apply limit properties. So this one here, well, we know that the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits, so we can write limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus the limit as n goes to infinity of b n. And the first limit is 0, the second limit is e, and so the result is going to be e. Right? Similarly here, we have a product. Limit of a product is product of the limits. As long as these two limits exist independently, right? We can have situations where, where this limit does exist, but these limits don't. And then you've got to be a bit more careful. Um, so we can do that. OK. And limit of Bn is e. Limit of Cn is 5. So e times 5, or maybe we would prefer to write that as 5e. OK. And last one. We have a constant multiple. So if you have a constant multiple, you can bring it outside the limit. So this is 1,000 times the limit as n goes to infinity of a n. So it's 1,000 times 0, which is 0. Right? So it's not so bad.